Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will see how many bookings were cancelled. Okay, uh, I'm just taking a variable. Say data is cancelled is equal to equal to one. That means uh, if it is cancelled, then I'm just uh, taking the value and placing it in uh, cancel. You can do this way, or you can just directly store the sum value. In this case, so in this case also, it will give the same value. Uh, in Python, whenever the value is one, it will be counted as true. So that is the reason you don't have to give is equal to. You can just directly do this, just to avoid the confusion for the beginners. I'm doing it like this. Now all this is stored in cancel. Now I'm just checking cancel dot sum. What are the total cancel values? It is forty four thousand. And then in this case, I'm just taking data dot location there are two function i lock and lock in this case it will just go to the hotel and checks wherever the resort hotel is the data like uh, hotel type it will take that and then see whether if it is cancelled that means if it is cancelled is equal to one then it will take the sum and store it in resort cancellation the same thing uh, is repeated over here but for the city hotel now i'm in the next line i'm just taking the uh, what what is the value present in the resort cancellation it is 11120 in case of city cancellation it is 33079 um, if you add these two number you ultimately should get this number because this is the total um, cancellation this is the resort can resort hotel cancellation and this is the city hotel cancellation Okay, uh, there is one thing I just uh, stored this uh, cancel dot sum into um, like one more variable that is uh, with the C uh, uh, lowercase letter and then I'm just uh, saying total booking cancelled what is the value total resort hotel booking cancelled what is the value present in resort cancellation same thing with city cancellation this is simple uh, analysis which we did like out of uh, whatever the total number of um, cancellation what is the distribution if you see city is having the more number of cancellation compared to the hotel booking sorry uh, resort booking the next one is we will see we saw the cancellation now we will see which month is having the highest number of cancellation for both uh, city as well as uh, resort hotel i would really want you guys to try out this one okay write all the steps like uh, whichever the way you are comfortable with just think what are the columns you need uh, how do we need to uh, calculate if, if the column is not directly available how do you want to calculate it okay and then come up with the answers if you could not able to do it then always you, you have this solution you can just uh, have a look into this okay now i'm just taking uh, giving this name i'm taking this dot uh, loc log LOC uh, lock and then I'm just checking for resort hotel group by based on the arrival date month because we want to see which month is having the highest number of cal uh, cancellation. So we are just grouping based on the arrival date month and hotel. We are taking the count and placing it in this um, variable. For same kind of calculation we are doing but in this case we are just grouping by arrival date month is cancelled. So uh, let's see what is the value present in this uh, variable. This is how you will understand uh, just executing line by line. If you see it is having month and then 1059. According to this, it is the is cancelled sum. Okay, these are the number of cancellation in this month. What about this one? Booking per month. Okay, these were the total number of uh, people arrived at the hotel because arrival date month hotel um, in the uh, for the resort hotel. We are exact. I will just erase this. We are repeating the exactly same calculation for the city hotel. Now we are just checking the res uh, resort cancel data. In this case, I am just explicitly saying PD is pandas data frame take it as a data frame hotel is the resort hotel month is 
list of um, where is this resort booking per month in this column whatever is the index that means this is the one the first one will be treated as index so take that as list and store the value as month in our result cancel data frame okay okay bookings take the same uh, variable dot values resort booking per month resort book per month what is the value present here take it as the bookings and then for the cancellation we have one more uh, variable which we have created take that dot values because we already have the month uh, we already have the month column we only want values from this um, resort cancellation per month okay we are explicitly saying it as list list is again one one kind of data type present in python okay now if you want to see what exactly the values present in this you can just execute this we have already executed this that is the reason why we are able to see the all the values you can see we are having a uh, hotel hotel as resort hotel that is the one which we are uh, taking like we are giving we are actually hard coding it as a resort hotel month we are taking it from this one bookings and cancellation okay we are repeating exactly the same operation for city cancel data and then now full cancel data we are just concatenating it like uh, if you remember we use the merge function concatenation does the exactly the same function this is just an another way okay index we want to ignore it otherwise even this will be printed 0 1 2 3 we just don't want that so we just want to con concat result um, cancel data city cancel data if you are not comfortable with this you can run the merge function also it will work exactly the same now i want to see what is the values present in the cancel data i am just executing this if you see month is not ordered according to the uh, like it is not ordered properly it is ordered according to alphabet but this is not um, what we want we would want to have jan feb like that so this we have already done it if you remember we had done we have analyzed one chart where we have used the exactly the same function sd dot sort data frame by month and then i'm just um, this is the uh, data frame which we want to order the data frame which we want to order is resort cancel data and we are just storing it in resort cancel data after doing the um, arrangement you have to perform same thing for the um, city cancel data let me execute the same thing for This is the city cancel data and then we are just plotting two bar chart same way i am just passing trace trace and trace one giving the x axis and y axis we have already done the bar chart so i am not going in very detail so let's execute this this is how the chart looks like i would want you guys to please try it out and then uh, we are not actually using this uh, after concatenating we are not actually using this we don't have to do this let's execute it okay we don't have to do the merging for this case uh, which one is having the majority cancellation for city hotel i think it is august and may almost uh, similar actually may is having 3653 for the resort hotel it is august okay and then 